In this video, I'll show you how to use Velocity Keyboard together with GarageBand. So the first step I want to do is go outside of GarageBand and look in the iOS settings. Let me do that again so you see. This is the iOS settings app, not GarageBand settings. And I'm looking for the, the GarageBand settings in the iOS settings. So here they are, and I've got support MPE controllers. This needs to be on. Um, if you don't turn it on, you can still send MIDI, but it won't be MPE MIDI, which means that uh, all your MIDI goes through on one channel and you won't be able to have individual notes having um, different expression. So now that I've got that working, I'm back into GarageBand and what I'm using here, I'll show you this, I'm using the Alchemy Synth. The other instruments work with Velocity Keyboard, but they don't do MPE, they don't all do MPE the way that Alchemy does. So Alchemy is the first thing I want to demonstrate. Um, let me get a good sound that'll be easy to... Um, I want something with some sustain on it. So I got this uh, Bandura Dreams patch up. And now I'm going to Velocity Keyboard. Actually, I'm going to restart this so you see how it goes from the beginning. Um, once I'm in here, I'll open Settings, and I'll take... Uh, you can use any layout you want, but I, I find this uh, base layout where things are strings are arranged in fourths works well for me. And then... Um, usually by default, the destination will be at None or set to the last thing you connected to. For GarageBand, you won't see GarageBand on the list of apps to connect to. So I need to connect to all. And that's going to cause a problem because you can see I have all these MIDI inputs from my Yamaha keyboard, which is connected through this uh, USB cable here. And that's how my sound goes out to my speakers. If I don't disable MIDI input on my Yamaha keyboard, when I send notes out to, to all outputs, It'll go to GarageBand, but it will also go to my Yamaha keyboard, so you hear both at the same time. So I've, I've already gone and done this, but I've disabled MIDI input on the Yamaha keyboard. And when you're doing this, you need to make sure MIDI, dis MIDI input is disabled on anything that's in this list. Otherwise, it's going to be receiving MIDI when you send to all outputs. So that's, um, it, it appears to be a disadvantage of the way GarageBand is designed, that it doesn't, um, it doesn't allow us to send MIDI specifically to GarageBand. So let's see what we've got. I'd like a little more velocity range than that. I'm going to open it all the way up. I'd like more sensitivity to turn this down. That sounds better. Um, so clearly velocity sensitivity is working. Let's check if MPE is working. I'm going to play octaves and I'm going to pull one down and the other one up at the same time. That would only work on MPE. And you can hear that's working perfectly and the bend range is correct. Um, so let's look at what happens in GarageBand if you use some of the other instruments. As I said before, Alchemy seems to work best. Um, but there are some other options. I was looking for keyboard sounds. There are some great pianos in um, GarageBand. Let's get out of Alchemy. I like the, well, I like this. It's kind of a Fender Road sound, right? Yeah, that's nice. So let's go in, in uh, Velocity Keyboard and see what we get. But you can hear the bend isn't working. I'm not sure if it's not working at all or it's not working right. Let's try adjusting the bend range and see if that helps. Most non-MPE instruments will have a bend range of two. So now it is working. But listen to what happens now when I do these, these octaves and I pull them. I'm gonna do two E's. Wow. Um, so what we're hearing here is this uh, GarageBand instrument is not uh, MPE compatible. So um, probably I want to just turn off slide to bend. So that's one way to handle it. The other thing I could do is, although I set that MPE switch in GarageBand, 
I am clearly hearing that this synth doesn't respond to MPE, so I might try going to single channel poly, or if I only want to play one note, one note, I could do single channel mono. Now when I do single channel poly, now I'm hearing my Yamaha keyboard again, um, which is not, not what I want. Um, so I'm gonna stay away from that. I, I have some difficulty disabling the MIDI input on the Yamaha keyboard while I'm using the keyboard to route audio through the speakers. Um, so we'll just stay like this. If you're not, if you're not having problem with other MIDI devices, um, I would recommend you try the single channel polyphonic with most of the GarageBand instruments. Let's, uh, let's check out another GarageBand instrument. There's a guitar. Ah, so I'm hearing a, a, a lot of bending going on, which means that for whatever reason, this guitar has a different bend range set than what the piano did. I'm gonna try going all the way back to 48. Let's see what happens. Perfect. So the guitar is 48. Let's see if it's MPE. It sounds like it is. But it has a strange assignment of notes. So it sounds like um, there are a lot of different articulations in that guitar which are assigned to different ranges in the MIDI key, um, in the range of MIDI keys. It's responding to MPE. It's responding to velocity. And it's, it's playing chords. So that, that works pretty well. But uh, one thing we're seeing here is that different garage band instruments have very different ways of responding to MIDI. Um, different bend ranges, some of them are MPE compatible, some of them are not MPE compatible. Like this one apparently has this small range of, of notes which is on the screen assigned to be played as notes and then other things like chords are, are assigned to other areas of the uh, MIDI keyboard range. I think the conclusion is that with, with these GarageBand instruments, we need to, uh, to, to take them individually. Sometimes they require a different setup on each one. But in general, I've been very pleased with the way Alchemy responds, and, and that's a great synth, so it's nice to have that um, ability to work with that. So this takes us to the end of our tutorial about how to use GarageBand together with Velocity Keyboard. Thanks for watching.